What is going on guys? Thank you all for joining me and today I'm going to show you what is needed and how to install the supplied bailless kit that comes with all new Star S7000 spinning reels. Starting off, what you're going to need is a fairly sharp flathead screwdriver. I tend to use the ones with the little quarter inch drive bits because they're a hollow grind. If you see that there, you can see it's a hollow grind, not a flat grind. They tend not to chatter the heads of any shallow flathead screws. Next up, we have a size zero Phillips. I use Posi drive, but a Phillips will do, as long as it's a sharp Phillips. A pair of tweezers or a pick tool for removing some of the O-rings and managing the springs. And lastly, a little bit of grease. Whatever grease you're gonna use, as long as it stays put, because what you're gonna find after you do the second line roller if you decide to do a double line pickup you hear that rattling for whatever reason the other line roller i have kind of rattles back and forth pretty loudly adding a little bit of grease will prevent that all right so with that being said let's get started and the first step of this little project is removing the handle of the reel this makes sure that there's nothing in your way just makes for a quicker, smoother installation. And then remove the spool. Same deal, allows you to get a better grip on the reel. The screws that are mounted in here are mounted pretty securely, so you want to get a good grip. The last thing you want to do is chatter the head of these screws. So if your rotor's spinning and it catches your knuckle, you don't want them to slice up your fingers at all. All right, so we're gonna start off by removing the flathead screw on the side opposite the line roller. So using our flat head screw, you got one, and I'm going to go ahead and remove the other. Now I'm going to place my thumb over the bail arm just to make sure it stays down because there is a spring in there. And you'll notice on this side, there is a little shim. Make sure you don't lose that. Now, we're gonna go ahead and pull this out. I'm gonna place our thumb over it because there is a spring in there. And once you unload the spring, you can see it's gonna come right out like so. Then taking your size zero, go ahead. I'm gonna remove this little cosmetic plate. Once that's complete, pull the spring out, grab your pick tool, your tweezers, and gently lift out this little hinged spring retainer. Move your bale out of the way, that side plate, and you're going to save the two large flathead screws. So now your reel should look like this. And for those of you that are curious, it is fully balanced. There's very, very little wobble without any of the bell components on. Now starting off with the side of the rotor that housed the original line roller, we're gonna go ahead, take one of these little quarter round pieces and put it in that slot as far clockwise as it'll go. Then we're gonna go ahead and grab our line pickup. This is the pre-assembled one that came in the package. And we're gonna go ahead now, and we're just gonna rotate it until it is upright. Totally perpendicular to the rotor. Take one of the black plastic washers that came in the kit, and then go ahead and add in the screw. Once that screw's been started with your thumb, go ahead and press down on that arm. You want to basically keep it seated as you tighten the screw. Once it starts to snug up, check it for any play. It should start to get pretty solid pretty quickly. As long as there's no binding, go back in and give it another turn just to make sure that it's snug and won't go anywhere. Now, if you were to fish the reel the way it is now, you can see it's pretty wobbly. 
So what you're going to want to do is take the supplied counterweight, pop it in there, take the screw and the washer, and go ahead and just tighten it down until it's snug. That way the counterweight doesn't ever loosen up. And that little silver washer was the washer that was on the original screw or under the original screw that held the bale on. Now if you've decided on just fishing the single pickup, all you have to do now is take that bale spring cover plate, the two Phillips screws, and reassemble as necessary. But if you've decided that you're going to fish with the second pickup, you now need to disassemble the bale. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do that in two different ways. I'm going to take my Phillips, remove that screw all the way. I'm going to tip it upside down to make sure that as many of the components that will come out, come out together. I'm going to take my tweezers and lift out the bushing. Now, there is a clear plastic washer. Uh, you don't want to leave this behind. It is needed. So take a fish hook and lift it out. It may pop out. And as you can see, it is a clear plastic washer. What you're going to do now, take the counterbalance weight, slide that clear plastic washer up against it, and you can see it, it disappears. You don't even know it's there. Take the bushing, slide it over the counterbalance weight. And then go ahead and you have to kind of rotate that because it is keyed into the arm. Grab your Phillips screw, your screwdriver, and now you have the second roller arm or second pickup fully assembled ready for installation. Now I'm going to show you how to install this the exploded way. Now in case the parts didn't come out cleanly or you dropped some or you just weren't sure what order they went in, we're going to go ahead and do the assembly the exploded way. So starting off with your counterbalance weight that came supplied in the bales kit, grab the, the clear plastic washer that may have been left behind in the bale arm. Go ahead and slide that down first. Take your bushing that the roller itself is going to run on. A little drop of grease, nothing too crazy. Go ahead and put your line roller on with the wide portion of the flare facing the silver piece. Take your small washer, large washer, the arm itself and make sure it's keyed in there and your screw. And if you look up close, you can see that the roller turns freely and that chattering is now gone. A little tiny bit of grease is going to keep that part from rattling back and forth. Now that we have the second line pickup fully assembled, we can go ahead and install it. So taking that second quarter round that came in the kit, Slide it clockwise to the right. Take your line pickup, and again, you're going to rotate it until it's perfectly upright. Take the black plastic washer that came in the kit, and then take that second flathead screw. Then go ahead and tighten it up. And again, you don't want to go super tight until you can confirm that it's seated correctly. You never want anything to bind. So it's slightly snug. There's no back and forth play. There's no gaps. Looks good to me.
Now real quick, I want to touch on the O-rings. Uh, some guys have come across an issue where if they cast a reel and the rotor turns as the line's flying off the spool, the line will go out wide enough to catch a line roller. And the, the O-rings will slow the reel down and lock it down enough that there, when you make a cast, there will be no momentum gained by the handle to start spinning the rotor. So it's, it's up to you guys. If you discover you have that issue, you may want to consider holding on to these O-rings and adding one to prevent the rotor from spinning on a cast. Aside from that, I think you guys are all set. I hope this was helpful. If you found it helpful, hit that like button. Let me know what you thought down below in the comment section. If you are not already a subscriber and you like these kind of in-depth instructionals or in-depth reel reviews, feel free to check out the other content on my channel and subscribe. As always, I appreciate the time you guys spend here. I wouldn't be here without you. The last thing I want to do is waste anybody's time, and I appreciate the time you guys spent here.